How's it going, guys? Ben Melican. All right, Ben. Man. Oh, I, oh, I appreciate oh, it, dude. Um, do okay, so, dude. I do not know. Um, do you remember what boat number you was? Oh, yeah, there you are. It's boat 31. 31. He's doing it 315. Drive by the dock here to take Yeah, we're going to check you in right here on the dock. Cool. Uh, and so we're going to do live oil check off the dock this morning. I'll so be down there. As, we'll call you boat as number. As you go by. Go right by the dock. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sounds good. All right, good luck. Good morning, MF or Sanda. Welcome to tournament day. I'm so jacked right now. And honestly, this moment right now reminds me of my college baseball days because one thing our coaches like to do sometimes, just kind of mix it up, make it hard on us, take us out of our comfort zone. We'd call it a show and go. And what that meant was we'd show up to the field. We wouldn't take our batting practice. We wouldn't warm up. We wouldn't take infield. We'd literally jump on the field and go. Sometimes that worked, sometimes it didn't. But one thing's for sure, when it did work, you felt pretty damn good because you just showed up against another solid team that had been preparing, warming up, all ready to go, and you beat them anyways. Now the reason I make that comparison is the chips are kind of stacked against me today. Let me tell you why. Found out about this tournament on Tuesday from an NF, NF -er that I actually met at this lake a couple months ago, the one time that I came here. Um, and he told me about it, and I figured that I wasn't going to be able to make it because, unfortunately, fishing with a heavy heart today, my Uncle Joe passed away. Um, one of the most amazing people I've met in my life, and I, I think a lot of you guys probably saw the Facebook and Instagram post I put up. And thank you so much. Seriously, it means a lot. All the condolences you guys sent out. Um, it, I, I can't tell you how much it means to me. And so I flew back to Omaha for his funeral on Thursday. I was thinking that it was going to be on the weekend. Luckily, it was not. Flew back yesterday, which is Friday, um, which allowed me to hop in this tournament, which is now today, Saturday. So got my flight in at 7 last night, loaded up the truck camper, Rebecca, Osborne, Emmy, and we blasted five hours to this lake that once again... I have fished for like a couple days a few months ago for the first time ever. Not only that, I'm fishing solo today in a team tournament against 40 plus boats of a bunch of guys that I'm told are freaking hammers. So why would I jump in here? Well, last time I was here, um, it was super fun lake. I love this place. The water's clean, good grass, good offshore structure. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be much like it was last time because the water's quite a bit cooler, but uh, I'm going to give it a go. I'm just going to show and go. Giving them a head start, right? Thank you. Okay, let's try to catch some fish on our lures and see how see how we do. Right quick before we jump into fishing today, I want to tell you the video is sponsored by. HelloFresh. If you're not familiar with HelloFresh, you guys gotta be very, very soon because they're America's number one meal delivery kit. Fast to your door, fresh ingredients every single month. They send us these delicious recipes right here in front of us and we are gonna cook these guys up right here while you're watching this video. I know it's February guys and probably the majority of us have been slacking a little bit on those New Year's resolutions and trying to keep from packing on the extra pounds. But as always, we stay super, super busy. And so why not let HelloFresh keep you on track with those goals, keep you from just going to the grocery store, picking things up, wasting time at the grocery store, driving through the fast food every night instead of making delicious meals like these. They're delivered directly to your door. And like I always tell you, it saves you time and it lets you eat more healthy. The average trip to the grocery store takes 41 minutes and that's without that drive time. This took from me walking to my front door to pick it up. Simple, I don't know why you guys wouldn't do it. Speaking of saving time, HelloFresh has a whole new line of fast and fresh recipes which can be ready in 15 minutes or less. Not only does HelloFresh have the 15 minute or less meals, they also have 35 new recipes every single week to cater to those picky eaters. You guys know how it is. You ask your old lady what she wants for dinner tonight and she's like, you pick, we can have whatever. You're like, all right, I'm gonna make tacos. She's like, doesn't sound good. No problem, we'll make some hamburgers tonight. And she's like, nah, not for me. Cool, we'll make fish tonight. That doesn't sound good either. Well, guess what? She's gonna find something she likes on that website, I guarantee you. Would you look at that coleslaw? I didn't screw it up. It looks quite delicious, actually. Let's try it. Mm. If you guys wanna start getting some delicious meals like these from HelloFresh delivered right to your door, 
Very, very simple. All you gotta do is go to HelloFresh.com, use promo code, code MELLICAN65 for 65% off plus free shipping. Once again, that is HelloFresh.com. Use code MELLICAN65 for 65% off plus free shipping. End of the fishing. We're gonna start uh, where we caught them last time. That's what you're supposed to do, right? <laughs> You don't go somewhere for several months. You just show up and freaking fish right where they were. All right, so conditions, as you guys can see, we got a light wind this morning, not too bad at all. And then it's cloudy and it's been raining. It's supposed to get sunny a little bit later. It's probably high 30s right now. But uh, I'm gonna start this morning. I'm gonna fish a little bit deeper maybe than I found them the last time I was here. Some main lake stuff, some structure. I'm starting with this little A-Rig, but uh, this series actually has a rule, even though the state allows you to have five hooks on your A-Rig, you can only have two, which I was actually kind of happy about because I usually only run three, and to show you guys, I got these two on the bottom, and then I actually trimmed my guy up, so my middle prong dude, um, yeah, he, he doesn't have a hook, so we got three teasers and two, two real ones, two hook ones, saw two loons go dip down right by me, which is always a good sign that means there's probably something in the area We've got boats everywhere out here so we're really gonna have to stay stealthy give them a good presentation today all right i just pulled two bigs to the damn boat with the hankle the only thing i've been able to make a move on was a jerk bait that i weighted down 25 feet the big glide is actually kind of similar to that that's the closest thing to a, a jerk bait but it has a bigger presence and then the first cast with that thing letting the, that bait get way down deep two big ones freaking followed it all the way up that i didn't even see on scope so i like that i think the timing is just not right they're being so difficult right now but we only need to make it happen five times all day. At some point in the day, they'll flip a switch, so I think they'll eat it. You just barely see these guys. They're just little blips on the bottom of the lake. You pull that big glide bear over the top of them. <whistles> Crazy seeing them rise up out of there. Oh, do it, girl. Here we go. Yep. Stay down. Stay down. The girl doesn't even want to fight. Spot lock us. Sweet, strong six pounder. Wow, they are so cold and lethargic. Look at that big bait fish. I said, look at that big bait fish. Mm, only bait to eat right now. You gotta be kidding me. A good gotta be kidding me, right? We're one fifth of the way there, folks. I'm on the small side for now. Getting hooked. Unbelievable, Ben. Are you serious? How are these fish not getting hooked? Giant ones. Look at that. And they won't commit. Nothing like some of them that are down there. Terrible place for them at. Alright, things are happening. I'm missing so many damn bites. So many giant ones down there and I freaking get a five pounder. You guys can't see shit. But I'm gonna float off this spot again. Decent fish. Oh, 
whip a whole bunch of them too. I don't give a good hooks in there either. bunch more in that group though we gotta get back in there. Damn hook just came out too. So here's what I'm looking for. It looks like nothing but these little hot spots in the bottom. Let me kind of pan a second. There's one right there. Giant fish. They're just freaking crawl in the bottom and I can't catch them if they're individual. I've got to get the schooling mentality going to get them to actually fire and bite just like the last time I was here. They won't eat a uh, an A-rig though. They won't eat a jerk, I, I don't know. They probably would eat a jerk bait eventually, but that's where everyone else has been throwing and I haven't caught one on it yet. They just chase it and one did freaking went to eat it and missed it. Besides that, I'm throwing the line through and the damn glide. And that's the only thing that's getting these fish to react. I don't know if today's gonna be good fishing day, good weights, bad weights. All I know is I've missed so many opportunities at bites. Here comes a good fish right now. There we go. Oh, that's a little one. That's a little one. Keeper. We need to get five bad. And it really sucks. I'm sitting in a spot in the lake where there's 800 boats driving by constantly right over the top of my fish. If we get five, we got a chance. I don't think we got a chance without five, so keep her rolling. We got four now. Three pounder, maybe? Not a big one, but that is number five. Whew. Holy shit, that was a lot of work. These fish have gotten so tough, but I feel so much better now. That's probably a three pounder, three plus. Oh man, I've done such a bad job at talking. I'm sorry for that, guys. I've been so focused on trying to get the right presentation in front of these fish and they have been so butthurt and i cannot tell you i'm not gonna say 10 pounders i did see two that came up and ate a freaking shad off the surface that laughed when i threw my glides at them that were at least 11 or 12. they wouldn't even consider it but uh oh man i cannot tell you how many fish at every spot i'm seeing literally i'm on the fish to win the entire day i've blown opportunities obviously but we gotta get them back now. We got two more fish to catch. Finally getting these fish to react to this jerk bait. It's taken all damn day. They are not hot on the glides and stuff. It's 154 by the way. Didn't really tell you guys that. But we still got over an hour left of fishing. And we definitely got two we need to get rid of. The sun has come out and uh, obviously <laughs> that makes it brighter. These fish can see so far though in this water, it's very, very clean water. And so I can't get a bite if I'm really working that jerk bait slow. I pulled up to this little point in 10 feet of water and there was a wolf pack of three that looked to be seven, eight pounders and uh, had them just doing donuts around my freaking jerk bait, trying to eat it. I've had so many things go wrong today that uh, everybody loses and misses fish. Mm -hmm. Yep. Stay 
stay on there. Stay on there. Stay down. Stay on there. And way smaller than I hoped. Might call her small one. Huh? Maybe. Not looking too great. God, I thought that one was bigger. Guy weighs. I can't say three, three forty-six, three forty-six again. Okay. Old guy weighs three twenty-two. Goodbye, old. Hello, new. One more weight than I thought we did. All right. Well, we only got three tenths there, but I'm making these dickheads and bite finally. You guys wouldn't believe what's what's right here going on. <laughs> Still got an hour fishing time. It's 204. We're doing it 315. How about a nine pounder? Get rid of the 346 we just caught. Just a nine. Not a double digit, a nine. He gave it a kiss. Why wouldn't he? Super dark outside. That can't hurt the uh fooling fish factor okay let's go see how we did oh that was a rough one. look who's here to help <laughs> is that your i just skipped a nap noise mm. me too that's how i feel about today um i guess i i don't know i never thought in my fishing career i would have the bag that i have today and feel absolutely sick to my stomach and want to throw up with my execution out there. I'm just glad it happened today and not the first open. And I'm also glad that we have another day to do this tomorrow. He's a baby bass. These on this side are not happy. Like I said, let us up here. What do you think, Oz? Big bass? That's a good size. You did great, bro. 31. No, me and you. Lost him. Woo! Alright. Don't be a good, good string or nothing. Alright, um, hold up the big bass. Which boat? Boat. 31. Boat 31. Boat 31. All right, hold him up for Rick Gallagher on the internet right now. Big bass, lay him in there gently. Yep. Big bass right now is 814. Gonna be our current big bass leader, 857. All right, here we go. What's, what's leading? We got five fish. We're leading it 32 something. 32? Yeah, I don't know that. 3009. Alright. Thank you very much. We had an 857 big Thank bass. You. Hey, you got a few things for Deal. Yeah. He also gets a a box of Southern Classic Chicken. Deal. We're getting a big bass. And since he fished by himself today and it's a team's tournament, he's actually getting two boxes of Southern Classic Chicken. <laughs> We got chicken. Okay, um, okay. And we really appreciate right. Southern Classic. They've been on board for awesome. thank you. <laughs> Look what we won. Wash, wash your hands off, huh? What are you, yeah, you're a little wet. Are you cold? <laughs> That looks miserable. Hey, get off my camera. Well, Ozzy's a mess and uh, I'm exhausted. That was a long day. So yeah, quick little recap of the day again. There is just like no situation where I ever thought a 30 pound limit would have me so frustrated, but it was just a terrible, 
it was just a lack of execution all day. I missed so many bites on the line through and on the glide bait that I usually catch and it's frustrating, but it happens, it's part of it. I'm super pumped that um, I got third place and big bass with, uh, that was an eight plus pounder, eight, eight four or something. I didn't think it was that big when I caught it. Saw so many giant ones today um, like that one that hopefully we can connect with tomorrow. I'm pumped for tomorrow. Um, I won like 1400 bucks, so cannot complain. I lost a freaking hinkle, so not super jacked about that. So we're down a hinkle shad. Um, let me know if you guys got any that you want to uh, let me purchase from you. I caught a couple there at the end on a jerk bait. That's six cents provoke that absolutely saved my ass because I had three fish at like one o'clock I think it was or at least I had three plus that little pip squeak um, and then I just never got two bigger ones I think my smallest were like a three and a half and a four and a half pounder um, couldn't get rid of those which seems like good fish about anywhere else but this lake's got giant ones I only ended up losing by two pounds and so that's frustrating when I feel like I had a ton of at least six and a half but probably closer to eight pounders bite uh, any which of those would have called out my three pounder but that's how the tournament fishing goes and i was the only one that fished solo out of the 43 boats so i was super jacked about how it went but we gotta dry our lives out um ozzy is a disaster and i can't really act like i'm doing anything becky's back there just freaking holding down the fort by the way uh there's a 20 percent chance of rain today i think it rained like 12 hours so that was great. Tomorrow, there is a 98% chance of rain for the entire day, including tonight. So, not the most beautiful camping weather, but it beats the shit out of being at home on the couch. Um, I think. That's what we're telling ourselves, right? Let me know if you guys want to see more tournament videos. Obviously, we're going to have more coming up with the Opens. And I wanted to fish this series because I knew there was going to be a lot of boats. I knew I was going to have to deal with fishing with boats around me. And I'm just going to fish as many of these little tournaments. Um, as possible before the open starts, just kind of get used to that. Um, just fish, this is a heavily pressured lake and there's a lot of boats around the areas I fish today, but luckily we were able to catch some and uh, hopefully we make more stick tomorrow that bite. And hopefully we catch 40 pounds. That's the goal. I'll catch you there, peace.